and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to tell you what a brand new video for tutorials of GS. Today's tutorial, we're looking at Audacity, and we're going to be showing you how to slow down or speed up audio in Audacity, whether, you, whether it's for you know, a voice recording, whether it's for a song, any type of audio that you want to speed up or slow down. Now, the first step that you want to do is obviously import your track, so you can go up to File, and you can go to import here and you can then click audio and open the song you want. You can also just drag it in here and it will pop up here. Now your first go to and a lot of people on YouTube and a lot of people actually suggest that you do this is you go up to effects and use the change speed effect. Now you could use this but let me give you a demonstration of what this does. Let's go ahead and press control A on this track so everything gets selected. Let's go up to effect, change speed, and say we wanted to increase this speed by, let's say we want to make it 10% faster. If we click OK, what you'll see is that yes, it does. As you see, the track has gotten shorter. And if we play it, Now we compare it to the original. Not only has the speed increased, but also the pitch has increased to a higher pitch. If you were to use the change speed and uh, speed it up by 50%, you'll see that actually it becomes like a chipmunk, and we don't want that. So what other option do we have? Well, we want to use change tempo. Change tempo will actually change the speed of your song and keep the pitch the same. So, in change tempo, once again we have percentage change. Say we wanted to make it 10% faster again. This time, we'll see that it gets sped, it gets sped up, but it will not change the pitch of the song. If you want to slow it down, it's pretty much the same thing. Let's compare it. If we listen to the, you already heard the original, but say we want to slow this down by, say we use change speed, right? Say we want to slow this down by, well, negative 30%, right? And I don't know what happened there. It didn't do it. So change speed, negative 30. Okay, there we go. Maybe I didn't highlight everything. I just see a track has become longer, but if we listen to it, As you can see, it's, 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 it's pretty low in pitch. So if you want to slow something down, don't use the change speed. If you want to speed something up, don't use the change speed effect. Instead, we're going to go and use change tempo. And once again, we're going to use negative 30 to slow it down by 30%. So by now, you should know negatives will slow it down and positive numbers will speed it up. So negative 30%. And now if we listen to it. it sounds pretty bad because I mean slowing a song down by 30% is I don't know I don't know who would do that but you know uh, I just wanted to show you guys that instead of using change speed you want to use change tempo because the pitch won't be affected by it so that's pretty much it guys hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned how to speed up and slow down your audio track if any questions comments concern you weren't any problems um, you may leave questions down in the comment section below. I have a video on how to increase the volume or decrease the volume of an audio track as well. You should see a link in the description, a annotation on a card on the screen right now as well if you want to check that out. And plenty of other Audacity tutorials on my channel. So we'll be making more Audacity uh, tutorials in the future. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe because I have plenty of other tutorials on you know other programs and other software stuff. 
But pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.